Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. So for today's video, I tested out some products that I had in my collection. We did a little bit of a curly hair routine. We also had a little bit of a curly hair fail. I was trying a new technique with my bangs. Didn't go so well, obviously, um, but th the day was saved thanks to a cute headband. Give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying Vlogmas so far. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Today, I really have to wash my hair. For today's video, we are going to go through a wash day. We're gonna try out maybe some new techniques. Um, I'm going to be trying out some products that I've used before, but I honestly don't remember if I like them or not. So it's kind of, sort of, like a first impression. Probably not wash my hair for like a full week, I think. So I figured before we hop in the shower, I would use this Shaz and Keeks, Shaz and Kicks, oh, I don't know. Um, but it's the Back to Your Roots Scalp and Hair Pre-Wash for dry, frizzy, or curly hair. It's made with Amla Fruit, Rice Bran, Turmeric Root, and Jasmine Flower. So I have used this before. I do like this a lot. It's just a nice uh, treatment for your scalp. Kind of has a very like maple-y smell so if you don't like maple syrup probably don't want to use this you're supposed to use this on dry hair before you wash so it says apply a generous amount directly onto your scalp and massage into the crown of your head uh work more of the pre-wash down the length of your hair while smoothing evenly throughout but without drenching so it's to leave it in for at least 20 minutes and then you can shampoo and condition as normal so i'm just going to take a nice amount here start to work this into my scalp I like this because it doesn't weigh down my hair. A lot of the scalp treatments I've tried like leave my roots and the length of my hair like with a little bit too much residue and it's just a little bit too heavy. So I do really like this one because I feel like it rinses out easily but it also makes my hair feel soft. It was funny because the first time I used it, you know, I put it in my hair and then I put my hair up in a scrunchie and I forgot that I used that scrunchie to, you know, hold my hair up while this was in it so I like went to go use that scrunchie a few days later and it was in my hair and the whole day I was like what smells like maple syrup and I could not figure it out and then I was like oh it's my freaking scrunchie and as you can see like I didn't put too much through the ends it says not to saturate the ends um so I just kind of like coated it gently all right so it's about like 10 o'clock now I did my sweatier workout this morning so I don't have to worry about that for the next few days do you guys plan that out too? I always make sure I do like my hit cardio workout days on like a wash day or something. All right, anyway, so I'm gonna leave this in. I'm going to hop in the shower. I'll show you guys what I use as far as like shampoo and conditioner goes when I come out. And then we can start the styling process. Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower and just a few quick things about the shampoo and conditioner. Number one, I love that they have pumps makes it a lot easier in the shower except um and it was funny because I was just thinking this as I was like you know trying to get the shampoo out I was like oh I love that these have pumps so convenient yeah this is very thick the shampoo so I did have a lot of trouble actually getting this out of the pump but that being said this is a really nice moisturizing formula and it spreads really easily you know how sometimes like products can get stuck and it's kind of hard to like disperse them throughout your hair that is not the shampoo at all. It is really hydrating. It lathers really nicely. Um, I feel like it cleaned my hair really well. I did go in and do a double shampoo just because I hadn't washed my hair in like a week. Oh, it says moisturizing and detangling. See, I should really read things before I start talking. It glided through my hair really, really easily. It did not make my hair feel dry at all. So I really, really like this so far. This conditioner is also really nice. I mean, I've used um, other formulations that definitely have a little bit more slip to them and I'm not sure if this is silicone free because on the free from list it doesn't include that so that makes me believe that it's not. You guys know I love to just use one styling product if I can get away with it so I'm gonna try just using the curl enhancing mousse today. This does contain sweet almond oil and vitamin B to provide curl quenching moisture, curl definition and the ultimate frizz control. Okay so I think this is probably going to be hydrating enough where I can get away with just using this but um, something I want to try so you guys know I posted that little quick tip video about 
brushing my hair backwards and um, getting good volume that way. Now obviously I have bangs so I don't know if this is going to look insane or not but I'm honestly just curious. I feel like it could be a good learning experience for all of us and uh, I'll try it so you guys don't have to. I do need a few things that I don't have. Okay, so because my hair was in a towel for a little bit, I just grabbed a water bottle so I could re-spray my ends. You could also use a bowl for this. Um, but I've gotten this question before, like why do you put your hair in a towel if you're um, going to re-wet it? And the reason is because I like to have a little bit of dryness at the roots. That kind of helps like them being glued to my head. I do kind of prefer using a bowl as opposed to the spray bottle, but uh... That's fine, we'll use that today. These products all smell really good, by the way, too. All right, so I'm doing two pumps per section. Just using this Denman brush to distribute the product, and I'm also making sure that I'm brushing really well at the root and kind of letting this hang away from my head so I get that volume. Get a little scrunch. All right, so let's take this front section, clip this up, we'll deal with this in a minute. Okay, so now to the front layer, I like to push all of my hair forward and then you'll see I like to brush it back as I'm styling it. I'm either going to have some like really wild like 80s hair or it's going to work. All right so I use two pumps again. All right so now I'm going to take small sections and I'm just going to start brushing up. So I mean for reference the way that I used to style my bangs in the past when I had my curls uh, was that I would separate them in the beginning and then like do like some like finger coiling situation. Probably just going to let it air dry like this for like 30 minutes to an hour and then I'll probably just finish off with some diffusing. It's actually been a little bit over an hour. I didn't realize um, I was editing and just lost track of time and then I <laughs> randomly felt my hair and it felt very crunchy. So I was like, I should probably start diffusing. So I have my MacGyver blow dryer here and it is time to diffuse. Okay, so my hair is like 80% dry. I do want to let my hair air dry it the rest of the way. I still don't know what's going on up here, so um, I'm nervous about that. I think we can agree that brushing your bangs back is not the move you wanna make. So to scrunch out the crunch, I'm actually gonna use a little bit of this uh, Daily Curl Revitalizer. Uh, it's a refresher, but you use it on dry hair. My hair is dry, so let's try it, I don't know. Okay, so obviously this was not the move, right? So I am going to actually re-wet my bangs. All right, to see if I can salvage the bangs right now, I'm gonna do a little bit of like finger coiling action, but I don't really know if this is going to work only because my hair is really weird and if I manipulate it too much, um, it like just won't curl at all. It's, I don't know, it's weird. And let's see if this does anything. So I'm just gonna let this dry now and um, we can come back and try part two of this experiment. Okay, so this is what the bangs look like right now. Overall, I do think the mousse did a nice job. I also feel like I put a little bit too much product in this front section here. So um, I definitely feel like a little bit of residue on um, my hair in this section, but everywhere else it does feel very lightweight, so I do like that. So when all else fails with my bangs, and I used to do this um, last year too, I'll just kind of like try to tuck them in a little bit, and you can't really tell that I have them now. So even though this was a fail, I'm glad that I tried it out so you guys don't have to, but I will definitely come back tomorrow just to show you guys the second day hair and uh, how this is holding up.
Hello, everybody. Good morning. So the hair situation is something like this. I also did a very sweaty workout this morning, too. So um, we'll take that into account. But overall, actually, like I'm not mad. Let's uh, let's do some refreshing. I'm just going to wet my hair in sections. And then let's do a few sprays. This is uh, what I used yesterday. Also, it's the daily curl revitalizer so i actually i was expecting this to be more um moisturizing it kind of feels like slightly sticky so i'm going to let my hair fully dry and then i'll probably end up putting it in a style and calling it a day okay, so my hair is mostly dry so the curls themselves actually look good i we're not gonna talk about this. So solution for that is um, we're gonna put a scarf on. Perfect. So obviously I don't have like a full review to give you guys, but right off the bat, I'd probably pass on this Daily Pearl Revitalizer. There are other products that I like for refreshing better um, that don't leave that kind of like heavy residue feeling on my hair. I do like the mousse, I will definitely keep experimenting with this as well as the shampoo and conditioner. I still am going to play around with those products, so I'll keep you guys updated um, as to whether or not I still like them or decide they're not great. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this um, sort of fail hair routine. You guys will have to let me know if you would be interested in seeing more uh, quote unquote fails like this one. All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me again today. I hope you are all doing wonderfully. I love you all so much. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh,